G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is RFD Hobby and my name is Sean. Uh, this is not a Wargaming Terrain tutorial today. So uh, as you can see I'm in the workshop at the moment but believe it or not I am actually creating terrain as we speak. I have a sponsor for this week's video or tour. Uh, they have sent me their Laser Master 3. It has been a blast so far. I cannot tell you how exciting it is to be able to play with something like this. The first time I've ever had my hands on a laser cutter. It's been a lot of fun. I really appreciate all tours sending this out to me. This video just sort of shows off what a beginner can do in a matter of a couple of weeks. I hope you enjoy this one. It's a little bit different this week but you're going to see tons of terrain in a very short amount of time. So let's get stuck into it. Thanks very much. G'day everyone, uh, we're now at the workbench here inside and I have finally managed to unplug the Autour Laser Master 3 so that we can get this video done and I can show you off some of the things that we've been able to do. Now the Laser Master 3 here is a 10 watt laser. It has uh, built in air and that will give you the air assist. Now one of the main features of the Autour Laser Master 3 is the fact that it will go up to 20,000 millimeters per minute, which is super fast and crazy. There are a couple of features I will get quickly into before we move on and I start showing you some of the things that we were able to make, also how easy this thing was to put together. It has an emergency stop feature here. This is just in case something goes wrong and you need to quickly stop the machine. It has a key feature as well, so you can only turn the machine on once you've turned the key onto it. Uh, you can release the key from there, continue using the machine if you want to set it up that way. Watch our power button. Uh, now it does have a SD card and quick tip if you do get this machine. You do need to insert the SD card that they give you that has the uh, software, the operating software. Also has uh, built-in Wi-Fi so you can connect directly with your phone to this machine. Now there is an app offered by Autour, this is the Laser Explorer app. This will detect and connect to uh, any of the Autour laser printers, uh, laser cutters I believe. And you can from there upload uh, images and files from your phone. You can also set up and customise text, cut or engrave directly from your phone, directly to the machine so you don't need to connect it to your computer in any way. The other thing I will point out is that everything here went together in essentially, I think it's eight screws in total. The framework for this looks to be custom made and uh, molded. It is beautiful, uh, really well done. Looks like a powder coating finish on it as well. This is really good. The laser head here, it is adjustable just by a little screw here. Um, now to focus your laser, this one has a little built-in arm which you just swing down, set the height of your laser for your material and away you go. Now I've never touched a laser cutter before in my life, I've done some MDF terrain before. For me over the last two weeks, which is the time I've had to uh, get this machine tested out and do what I can with it, I found it really easy to set up. Testing the materials takes a little bit of time but uh, there are some recommended settings on the Autour website as well which is really great if you're just getting started and you want to get uh, into straight away engraving a certain material or cutting a certain material, they give you a good place to start. But I will point out that this is a hobby in itself. There, there is a plug and play element about it, uh, but you do really need to dial it in sometimes for the certain materials that you have. There are a lot of test cards you can get. I found this was really simple just to find the right settings and dial it in. Another feature of this laser cutter that I will point out is that there is a fire detect in it. So um, I'm not saying this happened at all, but if you did set a piece of material on fire, rather than a nice laser cut, it would be very great that it sounded an alarm and stopped the laser and stopped creating more fire for you. Uh, like I said, I'm not saying that happened, but uh, you know, I'm grateful that it has that feature. So anyway, let's start looking at some of the things I made this week. Uh, some, of this, some of this stuff is really basic, just engraved a little map, that was one of the first things I tried to do. It was just a JPEG image I dropped in there, that was really fun. Okay, now believe it or not, uh, this thing here that I've created, this little rotunda, which just came from Thingiverse, which is part of a large set that's offered on there, uh, which has a little ladder here, these are little modular ladders. There's actually no glue in this construction at all, so it's all just snapped together. That's one of the great things. Now you can find a lot of files uh, online for free, things like this uh, little chicken walker here. 
um, some more Star Wars stuff that I was able to find online. You might get something like a dragon or something that you really like. Um, these were really cool, really simple and really quick to cut those. These are just cut over then with a uh, knife on as well. Uh, these are just covered with a you know, spray can. Uh, it's handy to paint both sides so that the MDF doesn't end up walking on you. You can also find lots of designs for little candle holders here. Uh, little ends for Age of Sigma or something like that. That's really cool. Little lantern here. Uh, now I haven't quite finished this one. It does have a hinged uh, frame here and you can fill these windows in with acrylic. Uh, again, all this stuff is free with the exception of one thing that I made, which is not free, which I'll show you here. Um, now these are really cool. These are a, a dice box um, that I was able to get off Etsy. So you can get the pattern for this um, off it. It does cost you a few dollars for this one, but it is certainly high quality. No glue in this except for these little panels on the front. Um, that's just the precision of these designs and stuff. It's just incredible. I found dropping images in and just creating straight up, you know, little black and white engravings on, on wood was, was a ton of fun as well. The big Mandela, which is multiple layers of MDF here put together. Um, now, you do get some safety equipment that goes with your laser cutter. This is really important to have uh, the glasses, for example, and you will also want to consider where you put your laser cutter. So you will have fumes, obviously, from all this stuff. So you want a well-ventilated area. This is not something you're going to set up in a small uh, room, for example. You can get a hood for it and hook up some sort of ventilation, so therefore you're getting rid of all the fumes. That's a really good idea. You can find these on the Autour website as well, as well as a cutting bed. So you will need to consider what you're cutting on. So the thing you put underneath your laser and that you put your materials on. It's not just these things that you can get. It's the potential for what you can make from this. Now, there's a lot of materials I wasn't able to play with this week. For example, acrylic, glass, uh, slate, leather, uh, metal. There's all kinds of different things you can do with this machine. Uh, I was quite limited to plywood and MDF uh, for this video just because of the time frame and my budget. Uh, but there is a lot of things that we're going to be doing with this uh, laser cutter on the channel over the next few months or potentially just indefinitely into the future. It's been a lot of fun to play with this thing and it has been a beast. It has cut essentially every spare minute I've had over the last fortnight and it has been cutting something. Now, not of all of them have worked out and not everything is what you see here. I've already started giving tons of this stuff away. So this is some of what I've been able to achieve. I started not knowing anything about what I was doing here, uh, very much just winging it. And in a very short amount of time, I have been able to print out all this stuff, make all this. Uh, I'm gonna really get stuck into making my own designs and really playing with this machine and getting it uh, to do a, a whole lot more than this, I can tell you right now. If you have the means to pick up a machine like this, I highly recommend this Autor Laser Master 3. Again, it's a 10 watt laser, uh, which is really important. It helps with some of the speed. I haven't, I haven't got any comparison in any other way with any other machines, but I can tell you that this thing has worked non-stop for two weeks and has been a ton of fun. And I can only recommend it in every single way. Engraving I found really fun. You can literally just drop an image in and you know it'll engrave it for you. You know, there's so much more here I can do and so much more that's gonna to add to the builds that I'm already doing uh, by hand. Anyway, I, I, I'm just gonna ramble on here if I keep going. So. I highly recommend this. I'll put links to the, the most of these designs or where you can get these designs, uh, as well as to this uh, dice box, which is fantastic. This one's on Etsy. And I'll put links in the description below. And if you have any questions at all or any suggestions, if you've got experience with laser cutters, uh, you wanna have a chat, just hit me up because uh, I'm having so much fun with this. I just have to remember to get back onto all my other projects and not let this thing occupy my entire life, which it has done for the last two weeks. But really enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Autor for sending this to me. It has been a fantastic experience over the last two weeks and I cannot wait to spend some more time with this and really push this thing to the limits and see what designs I can come up with. So thank you very much for watching. Hope I see you very shortly in the next video. Take care and all the best.